On February 18, 2021, after traveling nearly 300 million miles through the vacuum of space, a robotic explorer hurtled into the thin Martian atmosphere. Seven minutes later, it slowed from 12,000 miles per hour to a safe touchdown on a cold, dusty plane, and Perseverance had arrived. But this was no ordinary rover. NASA's Perseverance was sent to unlock the secrets of ancient Mars, to search for signs of past life, study the geology of the planet, and begin preparing the path for human exploration. Its destination, Jezero Crater, was once home to a river delta, a place that may have held liquid water and possibly microbial life billions of years ago. By exploring this fossilized landscape, Perseverance is not just rolling across Mars, it's reaching back through time. This is the story of Perseverance, of cutting-edge science, interplanetary engineering, and humanity's boldest attempt yet to answer a timeless question. Was Mars ever alive? Perseverance isn't just a rover. It's a rolling science lab, the most advanced robot ever sent to another planet. Weighing over a ton and about the size of a small SUV, Perseverance carries seven scientific instruments, 23 cameras, a robotic arm with a drill, and even a tiny experimental helicopter named Ingenuity. Each of its tools is designed with a specific mission to analyze rocks and soil, measure atmospheric conditions, and scout for evidence of life. All of this tech is powered by a radioisotope generator, which converts the heat from decaying plutonium into electricity, a power source that keeps Perseverance running through the long Martian winters. But perhaps its most ambitious task isn't just science. It's preparing Mars for humans. Perseverance landed in Jezero Crater, an ancient impact basin about 28 miles wide. Over 3.5 billion years ago, this crater held a lake fed by flowing rivers, which deposited clay-rich sediments in a fan-shaped delta. That delta, preserved for billions of years, is one of the best places on Mars to search for fossilized microbial life. From orbit, satellite imagery showed strong signs of carbonate and hydrated minerals, materials that often form in the presence of water. These minerals can trap and preserve microscopic life, much like fossil beds on Earth. By studying Jezero's layered sediments, Perseverance is essentially reading Mars' ancient environmental history, one rock sample at a time. It's like a time machine on wheels, revealing what the red planet was like when life might have taken hold. At the heart of Perseverance's mission is the search for biosignatures, physical or chemical signs that life once existed. Scientists aren't looking for dinosaur bones or Martian mushrooms. Instead, they're hunting for subtle signs, organic molecules, carbon isotopes, mineral textures, or microscopic patterns that hint at biological processes. On Earth, microbial life leaves behind telltale traces in rocks, stromatolites, microfossils, and chemical imprints. If similar signs exist on Mars, they're likely hidden in ancient lake bed clays are protected inside the mineral matrix of Jezero Crater's delta. Perseverance's instruments can detect these signs, and for the first time in Mars exploration history, it can collect and store rock samples for a future mission to bring back to Earth. This sample caching system is one of the rover's most complex features. It carefully drills into promising rocks, places the cores into sealed titanium tubes, and stores them for later retrieval. If all goes as planned, these samples may one day return to Earth, providing scientists the first chance to study pieces of another planet in the lab. While Perseverance digs into Mars' surface, a small companion has taken exploration to the skies. Ingenuity, the first aircraft ever flown on another planet, is a marvel of engineering. 
weighing just four pounds with rotor blades spanning four feet. It was designed as a technology demonstration, a test of powered flight in Mars' thin atmosphere. Despite the odds, ingenuity succeeded and exceeded expectations. What was supposed to be five short test flights turned into dozens of scouting missions, helping Perseverance navigate and explore more efficiently. It marked the beginning of a new phase in planetary exploration, not just rovers and orbiters, but aerial drones capable of accessing craters, cliffs, and terrain unreachable by wheels. Together, Perseverance and Ingenuity form a hybrid team, exploring the red planet with speed, precision, and ingenuity. Beyond the search for life, Perseverance is laying the groundwork for something even bolder, human missions to Mars. One key experiment is MOXIE, Mars Oxygen In-Situ Resource Utilization Experiment. MOXIE extracts oxygen from the Martian atmosphere, which is 96% carbon dioxide, using high-temperature electrolysis. It's the first step toward living off the land on another planet. If scaled up, this technology could one day produce oxygen for astronauts to breathe or for fueling return rockets. Perseverance is also collecting environmental data on radiation, dust, weather, and atmospheric chemistry, all crucial for designing future habitats and life support systems. The rover isn't just learning about ancient Mars. It's helping us prepare for the Mars of tomorrow one that may someday welcome human explorers. In the years since landing, Perseverance has already made several groundbreaking discoveries. It's confirmed that Jezero Crater once held a persistent lake system, complete with flowing rivers and deltaic sedimentation. Its cameras have revealed layered rock formations, ripple marks, and mineral veins, all signatures of long-standing water activity. Even more exciting, Perseverance has detected organic molecules in several rock samples, carbon-based compounds that are the building blocks of life. While not proof of past life, their presence strengthens the case for Mars as a once-habitable world. It's also uncovered igneous rock layers, evidence of volcanic activity in Jezero, and catalog changes in weather patterns, atmospheric pressure, and dust movement. Each of these findings adds a piece to the puzzle, helping scientists understand how Mars transformed from a warm, wet planet to the frozen desert we see today. Perseverance is far from finished. As it continues to explore the edge of the delta and beyond, it's venturing into regions that may hold even richer sedimentary records and possibly stronger biosignatures. The rover's stored samples will be collected by a future mission, part of the Mars Sample Return Campaign, a joint effort by NASA and the European Space Agency. If successful, it will be the first round trip to another planet, returning Martian material to Earth by the 2030s. Those samples could finally answer the question, was there ever life on Mars? In the meantime, every soul, every Martian day, Perseverance continues its mission to uncover the secrets buried beneath the red dust, to turn speculation into evidence, to transform Mars from a myth into a mapped, measured world. In many ways, Perseverance is more than a machine. It's an extension of us, our tools, our knowledge, our curiosity, our drive to explore. Through its eyes, we see ancient riverbeds. Through its instruments, we listen to Martian winds and taste Martian rocks. Through its mission, we reach out into the cosmos, searching not just for life, but for meaning, for a connection to something beyond our world. Perseverance is a testament to what humanity can achieve when it dares to reach beyond the horizon, to explore not because it is easy, but because discovery is in our DNA.